All right, guys. Well, we are uh, time for chapel service again. And uh, once again, um, until we can come back together, our new chapel location is Pastor Brian's back porch on my swing here. Um, Mrs. Dunn's grandfather actually made this swing, so it's a pretty special um, place for me. Um, but I'd love to just, like we normally do again, let's open up in prayer. So I'm just going to let you pray at home. So let's do that now. Dear God, we do pray um, for this day. Uh, we thank you that we can still connect through computers and technology. And uh, Lord, as we worship you, I pray that we be reminded of um, how amazing you are, how you love us, how you sent your son Jesus for us. And may we find our hope and our comfort in that. We do pray that you would heal and help those who are sick and be with those who are um, helping those whether it's um, hospital workers or nurses or doctors or even uh, people that are delivering things through Amazon and UPS and even our grocery store workers. We pray for all those people who um, are working to kind of help thing, keep things going. And, and we pray for our teachers who are doing a lot of stuff online and even for um, our first responders like our police and firemen that have to do all those things still. Um, we just lift up our world. We thank you that you're in control. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, uh, hey, I thought we'd do a song that pretty much all of us know really well. Um, it's still a great song. It reminds us of what God did for us. So even though I can't see you right now, I'm going to trust that you're singing along. So let's sing along with the song. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love All right, well, hey guys, it's good to be able to worship a little bit together. As you can see, Puddles has now joined me, um, and uh, yeah, I have to admit, it's uh, it has been a little bit of a, a weird time. There was a part of me that a couple days ago thought that uh, maybe I was going to wake up and this was going to be just some kind of weird dream, but 
Um, this is uh, the time that we're in. And uh, I have to admit, um, it was kind of fun. One of the, one of the things that I have uh, been struggling with is not being able to see the people I'm used to seeing. And um, I'm learning how to use technology. So I thought maybe, Puddles, should we uh, call our friend Lisa, Miss Lisa again? I think that would be good. Yes, I think that'd be great. All right, so we're gonna see if we can call Miss Lisa again. Let me see if she's there. Uh, let me see if I got her now. Yeah, here's her number. Let's see. Let's see if Miss Lisa might uh, answer again here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I think I see her name there on the screen. That's a good sign. Hey, Lisa. Hi. Oh, it's okay, Puddles. <laughs> Puddles, uh, Miss Lisa, not only you, but you've got another one of your friends with you today. I do. It's Louie. Do you guys remember Louie? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Louie. Oh, my gosh. It's my shirt. Wild. Wow. Oh, Louie, you've got a Woodlands Christian shirt on. I do. I do. <laughs> it looks like it, it's a great fit. It's just your size, Louie. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Louie, are you going to start coming to the school, or are you, are you like an honorary Woodlands Christian student? I just honorary, I think. Okay. I already graduated. No, you did not graduate. He's he no. He goes to a different school. He goes uh, to a monkey school. What, uh, Louis, what grade? Is, what grade are you in at school now? Um, in monkey grades, I'm the I'm the I think I'm the ninety seventh. Ninety seventh. Okay, I don't think he knows. Monkey grade. I, I really don't <laughs> think he knows. <laughs> I, I learned something every day from you, Louis. Like I didn't even know there was different grades for monkeys. Like that is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can come to my school sometime. <laughs> wow. So, Louie, it's cool that you were able to come over to Miss Lisa's house and uh, be able to go visit for a little while. That is great. I'm and glad to be here. <laughs> so, Louie, you know, we're all, uh, you know, with the kids at the Christian Academy. Normally, we get to be together for chapel, but we're in this kind of a weird time right now. So, I'd love to know, Louie, how are you handling everything? How are you doing with, with this time we're in? Who, me? Yeah, Louie, how do you? How are you getting along? How are you doing right now? Go ahead and, and tell him you're doing great, right? Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 Louie, Louie, what's the matter? I hate it. I hate it. I'm so bored, and there's I can't do anything, and I can't go see my friends, and I can't play soccer, and I can't do anything, and I'm bored. <laughs> whoa, 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 Louie, Louie, Louie. Now wait a minute. I know that it's hard because there are lots of things that we can't do that we normally do, right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? Instead of being so upset about that, let's think about all the things that we can do that usually we wouldn't have time to do. Like what? Well, let's see. Oh, I'm doing some, I'm learning how to crochet. So I'm doing some crocheting. See my little, oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, see, I'm doing some crocheting. Maybe you want to learn to knit or do some sort of art project that you've never tried before. Oh, I like to paint. You like to paint? Well, maybe you could learn how to do a new kind of painting or just make a new painting. Of me? Sure, of you if you wanted to. And also, look what I have here. What's that? Oh, it's a game. I like games. Yeah, you know, when we're at home sometimes, when we have more family time like we do now, we could play a game maybe. Oh, I like that idea too. And you know what, Louie? I happen to know that you like puppets just like I do. I do, I do. You know, you could either make a puppet or you could get a puppet if you have one to play with and you could come up with your own puppet show. Oh, you mean like the, this one? Hey, hang on, let me put it on. Oh, like this puppet? Yes, 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 this is your puppet. What's your puppet's name? Sally. You wanna make her talk so everyone can hear her? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a ventricleist. Well, okay, never mind. We'll talk about the word later. Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we have some work to do on that. You know what, though? You don't have to be a ventriloquist to play with puppets and make up a puppet show, though. Really? No. See, there's all kinds of things that you can do if you just calm down and think about it and pray about it and enjoy a little bit of a different time right now, but God is still with us and he's, he's still taking care of us. Ooh, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It is so good, Miss Lisa. You know, 
Louie and Miss Lisa, it kind of reminds me of a story in the Bible. Do you remember about Paul in the Bible? Do you? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul was really important. In fact, um, he wrote a lot of the letters in the New Testament. A lot of the books were written by Paul. And one of the things that Paul loved to get to do was he traveled all over the place, starting brand new churches and telling people about Jesus. But you know what? There was this one time in his life where he wasn't able to do that anymore. In fact, he had to go to prison. And he was all the way in a town called Rome. And it says that he was under house arrest, meaning he wasn't allowed to go anywhere. You know, and I thought about, yeah, can you imagine that? All of a sudden, Louis, he was able to travel and do all this and tell people then all that stopped and changed and he had to be under arrest. I bet he was a little bit Maybe at first he was a little bit sad about that. You know, he was kind of like us. He probably was sad a little bit at first. But one, one thing that's really cool about Paul is that his attitude, instead of focusing all the things he couldn't do, Paul used that as a time to think about what can I do? You know what were some of the things that Paul realized he could still do even when he was in prison? Ooh. Well, let me give you a hint. One of the things he could still do was this. You know what that is? Oh, karate. No. <laughs> Not karate. karate. <laughs> Not karate. It's prayer. Yes. Can I guess it's prayer, right? <laughs> Thomas Lisa. Yeah, he could still pray, right? And you see a, a lot of incredible prayers that Paul was able to pray for other Christians, for people who didn't know Jesus yet. And you know, this is a time where there are so many things we can pray for. You know what, yeah. Louie, what is maybe one thing you think we could pray for? right now maybe what's an idea of something we could pray about we, we, we got it okay we could, we could pray for the, the the people who are sick yeah definitely right that's a good thing to pray about people that are sick maybe we could pray for the people taking care of those who are sick right a lot of our yeah. heroes right now are doctors and nurses and i bet all of us probably know somebody that's a doctor or nurse that's a great mm -hmm. thing to pray for right so yeah. Paul would pray. Now, here's another thing that Paul did a lot. You ready, Puddles? What do you think? Paul also did this. Oh, 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 he wrote letters. Yay, that's right. Yay, good job. Yeah, right. that's right. You know, right now, as we speak, Samuel, my kindergarten, he's upstairs practicing some writing. So even oh. if you're, and he's in kindergarten, so, Kids of all ages can write letters, and it could be a simple letter, right? You might maybe write a letter to a family member that hasn't heard from you for a while. Or maybe there's a way that we can write letters to um, somebody that is lonely right now. Or maybe we can figure out a way to send a letter to, you know, um, another relative or a friend. Just, you know, there's all kinds of people that we could maybe write letters to, right? So we can do that, too. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be, we don't have to write like thousands of words. Maybe we just write, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I'm praying for you. It could be something simple, right, that we could think yeah. to. Do you think, Louie, do you think if somebody wrote you a letter and sent it to you, that you would think that's pretty cool? Oh, yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah, I think it would be cool, too. You know, and, and you know what, even if you don't mail a letter, you could always write down something. You know what, um, one of the cool things that um, I heard a story about was that some kids went to sidewalk chalk and they wrote on their driveway a Bible verse, maybe, or just said that God loves you. And then you know what, there was a friend that we have that drives a big garbage truck. And I heard that she was having a really bad day and she was driving by that house where they wrote that scripture and she said it really, really made her feel a lot better. Wow. That was another way you could write something right on your driveway with sidewalk chalk, right? Because we're all kind of at home right now. But that's another kind of cool thing that Paul did a lot of writing. And we can find creative ways to write things, right? Sure. So, Louie, I think we've learned a lot today, right? Because, Louie, I'm kind of like you. Sometimes I get a little bit down and I think, oh, I can't do this. I can't go see my friends. I can't do, I can't go out to eat. You know, there's some things that I, I do feel a little bummed about. Probably you too, Miss Lisa, right? Oh, me too. I miss <laughs> lots of things. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. but 
this is a good reminder that maybe there are some special things that we can do right now. Let me share. Can I share a Bible verse with you guys before we leave? All oh, right. Please so, do. Yeah. Let's go back to Philippians again. And in Philippians 4.13, this is a really simple verse. It says, I can do all things through him, through Jesus, who strengthens me. And I love that I can, right? So maybe that's a good thing for us to remember every day we wake up as we're going through this to say, you know what? Instead of saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, maybe we could say, I can do a lot of things through Jesus who gives me strength right now. I love right. that idea. You're yeah. too. So why don't we pray? Can we pray together? So Louis, Miss Lisa, let me just lead us in a prayer and then we'll wrap up with sure. our prayers. Okay. Sure. Dear God, we thank you for uh, this time to to be honest that there are there are some things that we can't do. It's true. And sometimes we can get a little bit sad about that. But Lord, I pray that just like Paul learned to do, that even if we feel a little bit cooped up and we can't get out of our house a whole lot, show us the things that we can do through Jesus who strengthens us. Show us what that looks like so that we can make a difference. Maybe it is writing a special message to um, the garbage uh, collectors or the mail, the mail men, or maybe the delivery person that comes to our door. They get to see that. Maybe even we can write, do some special Easter messages. Lord, just show us different creative things that we can do, that we can pray about, so that we can do all things through him who strengthens us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Well, Louis, Miss Lisa, thank you. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you guys, too. Can't wait to see you in person again. What I know, I know. Same here. And y'all have a really good rest of your day. Bye-bye. All right, you too. Bye, Louis. Bye, Louis.